So let's talk junior package sets and what you get and what's best and what to avoid maybe those kind of ideas. So we're going to start down here at Ben Sayers, Ben Sayers being the more affordable price, the entry level, which we'll come to. And then we've got US Kids, we've got the tailor-made one here, Callaway, and maybe up at the top here in the ping, the Prodigy, which we'll talk about what they do because it is quite unique what they do in their package set. So down at the Ben Sayers, these are all available in different age groups and sizes. So you get nice stand bag, you get a few components depending on what age group you're getting to. So six and seven iron here in the Ben Sayers, sand wedge, pitch and wedge, so kind of doubling up, driver, putter. Now the, the, the components feel maybe a little cheaper than as we go up the range, but for a young person who's just starting out in golf and you're price driven, literally don't know if they're gonna take it up, those kind of ideas, like the clubs I started with were the cheapest clubs that we could get our hands on. My dad didn't know if I was gonna go back and play football, you see, like why would you spend loads? This is a great option for that young golfer who's maybe not certain if they're gonna go or play and it gets them started in the game. We then move up to US Kids. US Kids quite unique, I mean they are, really kind of ahead of the game when it came to junior clubs they were they've been around for years they've been making junior clubs for years i've sold these in many jobs that i've done as a golf pro over the years to so many of my junior academies and they're just great quality they were one of the first ones to come along with components that were more designed for the people they were selling them for so they were designing the components lightweight bit of flex nice feeling shorter smaller grips for obviously smaller hands while providing like big headed drivers also nice cavity backed irons good quality stand bags again available in different age groups and sizes you know bringing modern technology to junior specific clubs. US Kids, brand I got a lot of time for. Global brand, known around the world, really good. TaylorMade, obviously what you're now starting to bridge, uh, kind of bridge into when you go to TaylorMade, Callaway, and Ping, is you are gonna start building on some of the design that they work a lot on in their adult sets. Let's so cross over to the juniors. Really nice components to this. Obviously TaylorMade's a very cool brand, I think, amongst this demographic it'll be a very desirable uh, product fully branded up throughout on the shaft on the head even on the grip like this will feel really good quality the head cover feels great again different pieces available in different sizes good stand bag as well so when you go over to these three brands you are now pushing towards those companies that are trying to innovate in golf and those innovations will come through dribble through onto the junior sets Callaway set, again, a few more pieces in here, might be a little bit more expensive. Very big cavity back, designed specifically for kids. Again, the components feel Callaway quality. So you do feel like you're stepping up, or you'll be stepping up in price often, but you do feel like you're stepping up in that quality through the bag, through the head covers, through even just to the putter. That feels really nice, comes with the Odyssey branding on an odyssey feeling face like you are again it's that crossover between the little person will be using what mum or dad uses subject to what clubs they use which my experience with little people they like that now i would say this is maybe where junior clubs become excellence if price is not your first consideration and you just want something that's going to last and is so tailored for kids i don't think anyone does it better than ping personally so what you get in the Ping, in the Prodigy set, is you get the color coding system that we've seen in the men's and women's in the adult sets for years. Fully custom fittable. These are gonna be more age specific. These are custom fittable from the grip to the length of the shaft to the lie of the head. Then you can buy the components as a package set or individual. The driver is hilarious because the driver is basically adult technology with junior components. So you totally are getting like the best of both worlds. You're getting junior specific components, but with full R&D that you get from pretty much the brand as a whole, which is no surprise from Ping, because Ping's mission statement really from the start has been about trying to produce the best quality clubs they can for the demographic they're trying to push it towards. And that still runs through in that company. It's, it's, they should be commended for it. It's, it's great stuff. Now, the other thing that they do with these is if you buy a certain amount of clubs, they, they grow with you. So you can send them back to get reshafted, relied as your young person is growing. So if you do go this way and invest, 
you basically got it's more money they are more expensive but if they keep playing if they start at 10 and play up until you know as an adult as they grow up as a young person into their junior sets they basically got their set made for them because you get this free component upgrades um, all really good options subject to if you want price driven if you want a mixture of price and quality if you want to start branching into those bigger name brands it's all there the great thing nowadays with junior equipment is there are options it's not just adult clubs cut down that are really heavy with silly grips on there's some really good options out there for any age any sex of young people let's get them playing great game let's get them playing a bit more